Okay, let's dive right in and start creating our first WordPress theme from scratch. The first thing we're gonna do is find this file over here on the left called wp-config.php. Okay, and this should be sitting inside your root directory, the main directory of your WordPress install. So this is a configuration file where there are some important settings and Cloud9 has taken care of a lot of those settings for us when we got set up. So we don't have to worry about it, but there is one line of code we wanna change in here. Okay, so what we wanna do is find this particular line of code that has the word debug in it. Now, when you're working with large files like this, it's easier to just kind of use the find feature. So on a Mac, it's Command F, and you'll see this search bar pops up. On Windows, it's Control F, and you can also get to it by clicking, if I hit Escape to get rid of it first, Okay, it's gone. If you go up here and hit find, and then you see this find link right here. If you click that, it pops up. And we wanna look for the word debug, so D-E-B-U-G, one word. And then if I hit enter a few times while my cursor is still active in here, okay, if I hit enter, it'll scroll through any occurrence of the word debug. And there, this is the line we're looking for. For me, it's line 81. Okay, for you it could be something different, but you want to find a line where it says define and then WP debug, comma false. What we're going to do is change this to true. And then I'm going to hit save. So command S on a Mac. That's control S on Windows to save. And then now that we've done that, we're going to get to see error messages in our application in case something goes wrong. Those will be helpful for us to track down any problems. Okay, I'm gonna close this file out now that we've saved it. And I'm gonna click over here and hit escape again just to get rid of that find bar. And now all we need to do is create two essential files inside of a folder and that's the starter pack for a theme, okay? So we have to have two files at a bare minimum to get a theme up and running. The first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna hit run project up here so I can start my server up. So yours may already be running but I'm gonna start mine now. And then I get this URL over here of where I need to go to view my site. So I'm gonna grab that or just click on it and hit open. And you can paste the URL into a new tab if that didn't work for you. And now we're looking at the home page over here. What I wanna do is get to the admin screen. So I can do that by clicking up here. And if this top bar isn't showing for you, that means you're not logged in as an admin. So what you're gonna to have to do instead is go over here at the very end of your URL and type forward slash WP dash admin. And that'll get you there, okay? But the other way you can do it is just by clicking this. And if you weren't logged in, you'll have to log in with the same credentials that you created when you set up this WordPress site. Okay, so now that we're in here, we're logged in as an admin. You can see in the URL WP dash admin. I'm gonna go over here to appearance and I'm gonna click themes, okay? So I'm in the theme submenu under appearance. And right now we just see the three themes that have been pre-installed. And what we're gonna do is add our own original custom theme into this menu here. Okay, so the way we do that is go over here and find this wp-content folder. This is where we're gonna spend most of our time writing most of the code. Okay, so unfold that with hitting that arrow. And then under this themes folder right here, we'll just Open that up. We can see those are the three pre-installed default WordPress themes. Uh, yours may look different, but there are probably some default themes in there. We're gonna go ahead and add our own. So I'm gonna right click on this themes folder and I'm gonna say new folder. So I'm inserting a folder inside there and I'm gonna name it custom theme. Okay, and I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna right click again on the custom theme folder itself. So right click on that folder that you just created. And we're gonna say new file. And we're gonna call it index.php. Make sure you spell it exactly correct. And then I'm gonna go back over to our folder again, custom theme, right click again and say new file. And then this time I'm gonna call it style.css. Okay, so those are two different types of languages. PHP is one language. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. So we have to, at a bare minimum, have these two files in here for WordPress to recognize that a theme has been added. 
Okay, so now if I go back to my admin screen here and I refresh the page, you can do Command R to refresh on a Mac or just hit this refresh button. You'll see we've added now another theme to the already pre-existing themes here. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit this activate button yet. We're gonna do that in a little bit because all it'll show right now is a blank white slate, right? We haven't added any code. But now we know that we have a new theme in there, our own custom theme from scratch. And we have to start with these two files at a bare minimum spelled exactly like that for WordPress to acknowledge that we've added a new theme.